Joe Workman here, and in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to export and create an icon for the PWA Pro Stacks using Pixelmator Pro on your Mac. So um, we have other videos on how to do this with Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo, so if those are your jam, check those out. But in this video, we're gonna be looking at PWA Pro. So here we are in PWA Pro, and you'll notice that I have some pre-built layers and layer groups. And essentially the important one here is your create icon here group. So what you're gonna do is all of your design and your artwork is gonna go inside this. And um, it will, this here, this clipping mask will ensure that we get that awesome icon shape, that radius that we have across all um, you know common icons. So they make sure that your icon actually looks like a proper mobile icon. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and create something really simple here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and drag and drop the Weaver Space logo. Okay, and let's just go ahead and center that. And uh, I need to make sure that it's inside this group. Okay, so very important, make sure it's all inside this group. And um, this rectangle, let's go ahead and change, um, let's go ahead and change the color of that. Let's go ahead and uh, I need to do, Let's do, I need Weaver Space Blue here. I need to be on brand. So there's my Weaver Space Blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on here. Paste that in, there we go. All right, there we go. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it super simple. Now, one important thing you'll notice that the, the first layer here is a grid. Um, it gives you kind of this golden ratio proportion that is used for many app icon developers, okay? Um, when you're ready to export, you might wanna turn that off so that uh, obviously we don't want that grid on our icon. We want this nice, pretty uh, version. Um, but one thing I wanted to show is that no matter where we put um, our data, okay, let's say I, I put this image up here, I wanted something kind of you know unusual. You'll notice that no matter where I put this, you can add in an entire background image. And um, this clipping mask will make sure that we always have the proper radius, okay? So no matter where you put data as long as you're keeping stuff inside this create icon here um we will it'll always ensure that um the proper clipping is applied okay so um again really cool super useful there now once we're happy with our icon we're going to go ahead and export it so we're just going to go to file export and you're going to make sure that instead of format jpeg you want to make sure that this is a png okay uh, very important. We want to make sure this is a PNG because we want to make sure that everything is transparent, right? So go ahead and click PNG. Um, I'm just going to save this to my desktop for right now and click export. Now this does just export. Um, it will by default export everything as 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels. Um, and then what, what you could do then is either you can re-export it multiple times for the sizes you want, or you can, you know, duplicate this and, you know, um, resize the images to be all the sizes that you need. Um, and then add those icons into RapidWeaver. Um, the workflow is a little bit nicer in Affinity because you could just export multiple sizes at once. Um, but unfortunately, that's not a feature of Pixelmator, but um, yeah. So I hope that uh, helped you out. This uh, template kind of makes things really easy, especially with that clipping mask, just makes exporting and creating icons super easy. So I hope you enjoy that um, and we'll see you soon on the Weaver Space community. Bye.